He is set about eight yards back behind the center. Here goes Anthony to the outside. Nice job by George Vincent. Quarterback's doing a good job of coming up and playing times when they're selling out their bodies. You know, that's really a mismatch, but they're coming up there really trying to unload on them. And that's what you got to have. That's one of his short gainers of the day. <laughs> one yard. Not even that. Boy. Indiana coming in with a four and four record, two and three in the Big Ten. Uh, losses to Kentucky, Ohio State, Michigan, and Michigan State. Sean Blitz. Blitz. There goes Thompson right through the secondary. That's written down by Rafael Robinson, but not before. He picked up, oh, about 29 yards. And there's the danger of the blitz. In other words, you commit everybody to the front, and if he gets a seam and he's into the secondary, there's only a few people left to tackle you. And you'll, you'll see here, they're running away from where everybody's coming, and boom, he gets past the line of scrimmage, and there just isn't anybody there. I'm going to guess he's at about 270 right now. And I don't mean weight, I mean yards. Right. Split receivers to the left, high formation. Right the middle. And he picks up about eight more yards. Medico, or how do you pronounce that fullback's name? Matico. Matico, good job of blocking. Boy, they get a lot of work out of their fullbacks, believe me. Well, 281 unofficially for Anthony Thompson. Is the, that's been the only thing that has slowed him down, his shoe coming off, and he'll have to go over to the sideline to put it back on. He's right. replaced in the... Uh, the backfield didn't get the numbers who came in. Well, I think I'd call timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Split backfield there. Yeah, they definitely need time for that I have a feeling those two fullbacks spend most of the practice days with the guards. On game day, they suit up and put a 30 on. Steve Goodrich is uh, the backup, but here comes Anthony, and there goes Goodrich. No, I'm serious. They're fullbacks. That's all they do, except for three or four carries a game, is block on linebackers, and that's no easy chore. That's a tough deal. Coach Mallory not very happy with some of the blocking up front that time. They got up to the first down, though. First and ten. Here goes Anthony. Crossbuck. We got one man to beat. And Lamar White did a magnificent job to work his way through the defender, and then. Get it, Thompson to knock him off his feet. And Thompson should have cut up behind that blocker that time. Once again, he tried to outrun him going to the outside, but his blocker was up inside of him. Watch this, Nunn. If he'd, he'd cut up inside, I think he would have been able to pick up some yardage. Watch 69 now, leading him. See, and then he decided to cut outside right where the cornerback was rather than cut up in. You don't see him do that too often. He's usually a little more patient. He's made, what, two mistakes this afternoon? I think so, <laughs> He's graded out right. at about 95. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. That's where they're the most dangerous. Straight ahead. They get a couple of good blocks on that right side, and he is into their secondary. Well, that's 10 more yards. Uh, he's got to be very close to 300 yards. Here's a, you'll see the blocking. Look at the blocking. He gets past the line of scrimmage without anybody touching him. Now, that's the key to stopping Thompson. You've got to get him at the line of scrimmage. And once again, keeping the ball on the ground and just running it with Thompson. It's just a shame you know what they're going to do and you can't stop them. That's, that's what's so frustrating. Well, he certainly exceeded his best performance ever against Minnesota. Honor play again. 16. Here he goes. Has some nice block that time by 69 on Lamar White. You know, that time he was patient. He waited to see what was going to happen, and then he went to the outside. Randy Schneider just floored Lamar White. Six yards. There's a real telltale story. He's done that, of course, more than a lot of teams, though. This yeah, I think he... <laughs> Over... 300 yards. You now you think a lot of running backs gauge a 100-yard day is an outstanding afternoon, and this guy's at over 300 yards. Well, the other thing, he doesn't look like he's tired. No. Yet. I mean, he he's not dragging or anything else. He's coming back to that huddle in a hurry. 
Maybe you want to get him four yards. Showing blitz. There you go. Anthony, out. touchdown. They, they can't do it. They will not catch it. Anthony Thompson had another touchdown to AT&T's total. There's no question in my mind the automatic to that. In other words, that was just straight dive right ahead. They saw all the linebackers up there. They know if they just get a little hole, he's gone. <laughs> I tell you, if I'm Bill Mallory, it's going to be a long off season, regardless of what happens, because he's not going to have number 32 to defend on next fall. We have really seen a great individual performance today. One of the best I've ever seen. Bunnell in to attempt the point after. It's up, and it's good. And Indiana now out in front of the Badgers by three touchdowns. Well, you know, we came out in the first few minutes of the first, I mean, second half. And here, we'll take a look at this run. Here you see it. They're all committed. There just isn't anybody. There's nobody left after the line of scrimmage to stop them. Well, he's, he is everything that we had been led to believe and then some. Here's another look. I mean, this, he could have walked in backwards. But, I mean, that's what happens. You, you say, we've got to stop them, so let's commit everybody to the run. And if they get some decent blocking at the point of attack, there's nobody there to come and give help. 